topic was an interesting one. It was about uh, sharing our expertise in co-investment, direct investment, and especially mixing up also the expertise from Europe and Asia because we have activities here in Asia as well as in Switzerland where our headquarters are. So uh, we were delighted to mention more about the private equity field, specifically co-investment with us, with our families, again also on the direct investment and how we have selectioned uh, and did our diligence on working with the best partners to find the right deals that matches our families that we work with and uh, we had a good reception from the audience, very interesting exchange as well and uh, I hope it was a definite useful situation. Today, as, uh, as the organization of this event is about family offices, it was very important to talk about uh, a major part of asset allocation within family offices. And whether it's in Asia, Europe, Middle East or elsewhere, uh, now the private equity segment and co-investment segment and direct investment in particular is becoming a hugely discussed allocation, very much of interest for the family offices which are allocating more and more uh, wealth into that segment and uh, there is a need to have the right uh, resources to do that. It's not a decision only to the asset class but it's also a decision on how to get exposed over the next decade in a segment which is key for them. So this is why one of the key points of uh, doing this uh, sharing process with the conference at the conference it is very valuable uh, to share our expertise in that field. In general, uh, well, uh, there are a couple of risks that are associated today to uh, investment in the global environment as we see it at present. And of course, we cannot avoid asking ourselves why most asset classes have reached a certain level of being quite uh, expensive. Uh, in different aspects, whether it's in terms of valuation, whether it's in terms of technical uh, performances. I'm thinking uh, very clearly about uh, US stock markets or some emerging uh, market uh, uh, indexes which have reached long time high, historical highs and much higher than 2007. Uh, the same environment which led to questioning the upside potential and to which, uh, to what extent this can go on are typically questions that we ask ourselves as family offices and we believe all family offices are questioning as well this kind of environment. We are uh, as well uh, in a way uh, cautious about the environment in fixed income as well. Uh, an increase of interest rates can lead to a major disruption on the macro economy globally and this is something which has a dear consequence uh, on also the social environment in many countries, especially developed countries today. So we are worried about these two elements. This doesn't mean that we are not also looking at the opportunities of investing within this field. We're just simply more prudent. Our topic today was definitely an argument why we're looking forward over the next year, uh, next 10 years in terms of how we invest in an asset class which is less exposed to the divergence and the volatility and more into the real economy itself as a way to mitigate part of our asset allocations.